Hi everyone, this is Natasha, and I wanted to do a really quick uh, giveaway in light of the fact that Season 6 True Blood is coming to a close this coming Sunday. Um, I thought I would give away this True Blood mini that I made, I don't even remember, last year? Was it earlier this year? So I'm just going to go through it quickly. It's on, oh, it got a little dusty. Sorry. <laughs> It has an acetate cover with True Blood. There are plenty of space for pictures. These are... Oh, oops. Lots of photo mat spaces. There's tags. Little pockets. More pockets blood splatter lots of places so there's two pockets here this one is um, a little pocket with a tag inside another one of these you know twofold this one is has a little let's see if you in the embellishment it has um, these gorgeous poppies from um, Well Darker Crafts and a little vial, a little vial of blood, and again two large photo mats, a couple of pockets here, a black tag, a reverses craft, mm -hmm. a true blood tag that has a epoxy cap, a couple of blood stains on the back. winged vampire embellishment and the last page has this broken heart and inside the broken heart is a little fancy schmancy little <laughs> pocket which you can include a gift card in it's just cute um, and this is real silk ribbon from wild art crafts and some of the black lace so and this is lined so here i'll show you with craft paper so you can it's not sticky, but it is glued down here. And then I just created this little broken heart note area. And then there's the back with a, another set of wings. So, in order to be eligible to win, I'm going to draw one random winner. From all the comments I will be left, I'm going to leave it open for one week. Um, tell me how you feel about Season 6, for those of you who have been watching it. Um, without giving anything away, because I know a lot of people DVR or just haven't seen all the latest episodes. Um, I'm a little... I'm a little torn. Um, I really... I mean, I've read and reread and reread and reread the books uh, probably three, if not four times, including the very last one that came out this past May, May of 2013. And I have enjoyed the books. I mean, they're not, they're never going to become classics, but they are entertaining. Let's face it, sometimes you read for knowledge and sometimes you need for escape, you read for escape. So I did enjoy them, and um, when I first heard that HBO was going to be doing the show, I was pretty excited, and I have enjoyed them all these years. Um, I can't say the season six is dramatically different, although Alan Ball has departed as the head, um, so others have taken over. I, I believe the current uh, one is someone who had been on the writing staff all along, so it's not like it's someone right off the street, they're familiar with the whole look and feel of the show. But I do have to say, without again, without giving anything away, because I'm not, not spilling any um, secrets or any anything that's happened in the season thus far, um, the only thing I find that is currently correlating um, with season 6 HBO show and the 6th book in the series is uh, the fact that there is a Sookie Stackhouse in the show as well as in the book. Pretty much everything else has deviated. Um, I mean, I understand the use of poetic license and uh, interpretation and the fact that it's not a verbatim, you know, uh, reenactment of the book. There's virtually nothing from the book that is in the show for the season. 
So I'm, I mean, I have, I've just, ex I mean, I long accept, accepted the fact that um, whatever I knew of what occurs in the book, that n the number of the book uh, that coordinates to the series, the year of the series, there'll be, you know, occasionally there'll be some, you know, some of the same things occurring, but most of the time there, there are not. So I'm curious to hear what other people are, are feeling about this particular season. So season six is coming to a close tomorrow, or tomorrow, um, Sunday, today's Friday. And um, just leave a comment um, and try not to give any spoilers. And if you do, uh, yeah, try not to give any spoilers because I got in, I, I got read the riot act last time I posted something that people's comments and replies um, included um, spoilers. So no spoilers. Just l let me know how you feel. Is this season a surprise? A, are you lukewarm? Is it a disappointment? Are you throwing your hands up in the air and saying I just you have to disconnect the fact that there's even a set of books that you know this was based on? I'm just curious. Um, I know that they have been signed for season seven. Um, I had initially going. I was going to reread book seven, but then I thought about it. And I, what for? <laughs> you know, if this was not based on a book series in itself, then I don't think I would make. You know, there wouldn't be the expectations. But I think when you do say that this is based, or even loosely based, on um, a series of books or or a book, you know, you and you've read the book, you expect certain things to be alike. So again, I'm kind of lukewarm. I mean, I. It certainly has been entertaining hour or whatever of between 48 and 56 minutes however long that you know each episode is slightly different in length has been it's definitely entertaining um, but it has you know some characters background they've been they've like turned on a dime they've been good and bad and back to good and back to bad I just, so Keystack House is still there. That's about it. So um, hopefully you guys, I mean, somebody would like to get this lovely, shiny, true blood mini. It's kind of stuffed. <laughs> there you go. Um, don't forget to thumbs up and feel free to share because more the merrier. And I will, again, leave it open for one week. So... I will draw a winner next Friday, and it'll be just random. I'll throw names in a hat, or in a bucket, or something, and draw one person to win. And it's open internationally, so I'll pop this in in the post, and hopefully somebody will enjoy it. There you go. That's all I have for now. As always, thank you for watching.